All right, this video is about successive ionization energies. So we've talked about ionization energy being the amount of energy required to remove the outermost electron. That was in another video, um, and that was a periodic trend. We can actually continue to remove electrons, and that's called successive ionization energy. So it's the amount of energy required to remove more and more and more electrons, and we can track that. And what we notice is um, a type of trend where we can kind of predict when there's going to be a big jump in ionization energies um, when we remove a certain type of electron. So here I have, this is actually oxygen, a little diagram of oxygen. Um, so it has two electrons in the first energy level and then it has six in the second energy level. And this diagram just shows us um, the electrons along with the energy required to remove them. So let's say if I remove this electron here, that's the first one, it requires this much energy. So that's what this, this little chart represents. And then if I remove another one, the second one, so we'll say this is the first, this is the second, it's gonna require a little more energy, just a little bit. And then I remove another one, let's say that's the third, it requires this much energy. And you can see it's gonna go up a little bit each time. I remove this one, and then this one, and then this one, and each time I keep removing electrons, the energy is increasing, right? However, after I've removed those six electrons, if I go to remove this one, the seventh one, we'll notice a huge, huge, huge jump in the amount of energy required for us to remove that electron. And the reason there's such a big jump is because now we've removed all of the valence electrons. Remember, valence are the outermost energy level electrons. Once we've removed all of those, we are now reaching into core electrons. These green ones are the core electrons. And atoms do not want to give up their core electrons because they already feel like they are complete, right? Whether it's the first energy level or the second or the third, if, if that's a core area, um, just inside the valence shell, then it does not want to get rid of those electrons. And so once we try to break into those core electrons, we notice this huge jump in ionization energies. And so there will be questions about where you will see those jumps depending on how many valence electrons there are. So this question, this first question, is about the diagram we just saw. After which successive ionization energy would we expect to see a jump in ionization energies for oxygen? Well, we know that oxygen, since it has the six valence electrons, will have little increases as we remove all six of those. But once we try to remove a seventh, it goes up a lot because it's a core electron now. So all we have to know is that oxygen has six valence electrons. So we're gonna see a huge jump after the sixth. After the sixth electron is removed, we'll see a big jump in ionization energy. That's how easy it is. So we just have to pay attention um, to how many valence electrons. So this is because oxygen has six valence electrons, right? You don't have to write that in your answer, but that's just for me to tell you why we know it's the sixth. So if we look at another one, after which successive ionization energy would we expect to see jump in ionization energies for aluminum? We just need to find aluminum and figure out how many valence electrons it has. So aluminum's here. Remember our trick, trick for figuring out valence electrons is to just look at the A um, group number. So it's group 3A, which means aluminum and everything else in this group has three valence electrons. So we would expect to see a jump in ionization energies after the third, because once we remove all three of the valence electrons, aluminum will not want to get rid of the core electron so it would take a lot more energy for us to remove a fourth electron, okay? So this is all related to valence electrons um, anytime you see these questions about successive ionization energies.